The hotel school located in Scheveninge is a unique institution founded in 1929 that continues to prepare leading service industry personnel for careers in hotel and restaurant management throughout the world. With two restaurants and a quality hotel service, this educational institution has invited the Hague community for years to come and enjoy quality food and service that everyone should deserve as part of their hotel and restaurant experience. I spoke with communications and marketing officer Mario Lane Dopbacher to find out more. Mario Lane, the hotel school here in The Hague was founded over 80 years ago and as a member of the leading hotel schools of the world, it's quite internationally known. Tell us more about your school. It's a four-year program and during those four years the students go to an international placement two times and most of those are very international so they go abroad to uh, well all over Europe but also to China or to Australia or to the United States. If students have a uh, prior education in hospitality management they uh, can also uh, do a fast-track program. Uh, furthermore we offer a master program and we are also offering summer courses. So this moment we have uh, more than 1900 students and it will become even more when we will open our new campus in Amsterdam which will open in August. And what is your secret to the success rate of this institution? Well, sometimes I think it has to do with the fact that we're very critical. We have built up an impressive network worldwide. It's not our, only our alumni who are worldwide, and it's more than, well, 7,500, but also the connection that we have with uh, the international hotels, uh, which are very important for us. Well, you must have your thumb on the pulse of the restaurant and hotel industry, and I'd wonder what does the hotel and restaurant industry look for in their management and staff? The students have to have a can-do mentality. Uh, the students of the Hotel School de Hague have the mentality that no is not an option. We can do everything you want to. And, of course, that the guest is the most important thing. You want to exceed expectations. The community here in the Hague have an opportunity to come to the hotel and the restaurants that you have that are completely student-run. Yes, here in The Hague we have the Brasserie Zenk and we have Restaurant Le Debut, which is a fine dining restaurant. Uh, and we have 20 hotel rooms in Scheveningen, which they can uh, experience our homemade hospitality, as we call it. Well, it's a great opportunity for students and the public alike, and I'm sure that the service would be at its highest level. Obviously, students are being graded on their performance. A common complaint from expats living in the Netherlands seems to be that there isn't enough priority placed on customer service in restaurants. <laughs> Is this addressed at the school? Uh, well, I don't know if it's addressed at the school, but I do, do know that for us, hospitality is um, well a profession uh, while somewhere else in Holland um, hospitality and being in a restaurant and, and waitering is uh, more um, well just a student job but when they come here they absolutely will see a different kind of hospitality. I'm with student Joshua Wilkinson who is just finishing his second year in a four-year program. Joshua tell me what are the kinds of activities that you do here and tasked with at the school? Basically the school is uh, run by students. Um, you can see that we do the housekeeping, we run reception, um, we even run two restaurants. Um, on the other hand, the theoretical side is very important to understand uh, and, and bring in practice, uh, which you can also do during your practicals. Being a good hotel manager in the end, uh, I think you would have to understand uh, what your employees are going through. So having gone through that yourself, uh, knowing what it is like to clean a room in under 20 minutes, uh, make the bed and clean a, a bathroom, is, uh, is an exceptional experience. Um, and maybe a hard way of learning, but it's a very efficient way. Ruel Brinkmann, the instructor for the fine dining restaurant Le Debut, joins me now. There are two restaurants for the public to attend here at the hotel school. Tell us a bit about the difference between the two. Well, we do have um, two restaurants indeed. Um, Brasserie Zeng is the more informal um, brasserie setting. Uh, where students learn how to deliver uh, in a quick service uh, during lunch and dinner. Uh, Le Debut restaurant is more the traditional fine dining setting, um, what can be found in the, in the good hotels uh, around uh, the world as well. We have different ways of working within Le Debut than we do in Zenk. Uh, we work with different materials, uh, however we work with the same kitchen. 
Um, looking to the menu, we, um, we do pay a lot of respect to the season. We do pay a lot of respect to, um, to the environment as well. Uh, so uh, only products which are local and, and grown in, in a good way are used. Um, and it changes every, every season. How important is it for the public to contribute to the training of these students? The public is, I think, the main factor in the learning process of the students. Uh, we not pretend to be a restaurant, we are a restaurant. And that means that we need the public and we need the clients or guests, what we say here, uh, to come across to, to have, a, have a dinner. And, and so we do like 30 to 40 covers every evening. Um, and that's a lot of fun uh, for them, uh, for me, uh, and for the guests as well. With great flavors and fresh ingredients, the restaurants Le Dabieu and the Brasserie Le Zinc are a perfect venue for a reasonably priced meal with excellent service from eager to please and dedicated staff. Tables are reserved from Monday to Friday and begin seating around 6 o'clock. So enjoy a night off of cooking and call the hotel school at 070-351-2481. And for those of you considering a career in hotel management, and wish to find out more about courses and enrollment, please visit their website at www.hotelschool.nl. I'm Rob Barsoni, reporting for Dutch Buzz.